commissioning 12 speculative projects for the city of Detroit as a way of exploring the architectural imagination. Detroit is a city that of course um, has been in the public imagination worldwide as a post-industrial city that is struggling with finding its way to the future. But at the same time, Detroit is a city that has an incredible legacy and an incredible history of invention and of imagining different options for the future that have impacted the world at large. The criteria for the selection of the sites was sites that really represent issues that other cities are confronting worldwide. There are two to the west side of downtown and two to the east. The two to the west are a former light industrial site in an area known as Mexican Town, which has a large, it's a fairly stable neighborhood, has a very large Latin population. Another site is on the Detroit Riverfront, where there's a large outdated U.S. post office that the city is very interested in finding new uses for because the post office is phasing out over the next several years, its occupation of this facility. And it also involves riverfront, waterfront activity, which there's a group in Detroit that's already doing a lot mm -hmm. uh, called the, the Riverfront, riverfront Conservancy. Conservancy that's trying to reactivate the post-industrial waterfront, like many post-industrial cities. Then on the east side, there's a very vibrant area called Eastern Market, which is really the wholesale and retail food distribution center of Detroit. And just to its east, uh, along what used to be a railroad line. Um, there are vacant areas that we have selected for these projects, and the last is the Packard Automotive Plant, which is an eight city block long abandoned facility known around the world because of many photographs taken of its state of decay. And in all of these instances, we ask the architects not to tear things down, but to try to work with what's there. What was interesting is that none of the architects selected programs that have been in the public eye in architecture for a long time. Nobody did a museum. Nobody did a cultural arts center. All of the architects actually decided to work with everyday programs and bring architecture and architectural thinking into everyday programs. If you took the automotive plant, for example, they've treated it in various ways. Uh, one group has suggested that the plant's structural system would remain, but all of the sort of wall conditions and roof conditions would be demoed out and recycled and it become a research center for how you would make new aggregates for new kinds of buildings going forward. Um, another one gives the building a kind of haircut and puts a university and corporate um, sort of research centers on the top of the existing structure and using the bottom as a kind of warehouse, kind of Amazon distribution, -like distribution center. center. And the third one takes the whole plant and turns the roof into a sort of vertical, or it turns it into a kind of vertical botanical garden where, because there is a lot of urban agriculture in Detroit now because there's so much empty land, he makes a vertical um, botanical garden with an aviary on the top and all kinds of different little new towers. It's really a fantastic project.